Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about 4 important bits for GATE 2024 on the subject of electronics. In this video I will go to, I will go to teach you the 4 important bits on semiconductors and basics about electronics. Let us see the first bit is here the impurity commonly used for realizing the base region of silicon NPN transistor. Here NP, for NPN transistor the base is nothing but P. Okay. Here first N and last N are emitter and collectors. Here P is the base. We know for creating P type semiconductor we need to dope our intrinsic semiconductor with trivalent impurity. Okay. That is why here we have to choose what is the trivalent impurity in options. Here the question is we have to find which type of impurity commonly used for uh, for making P type semiconductor. Okay. Here gallium first option, second option indium, third option boron and fourth option phosphorus. Here first we need to find uh, what are the trivalent impurities among these options. Here gallium first option is a trivalent impurity and second option indium is also a trivalent impurity and third option boron is also a trivalent impurity and but uh, the phosphorus fourth option is not a trivalent impurity. So fourth option is not a answer. Now coming to remaining answers those are now the answer may be A, B or C. In A, B or C, C that is boron. Boron is most commonly used semiconductors for making P type semiconductor. So, boron is the correct answer. Here both gallium and indium are also trivalent impurities only. But for creating P type semiconductors mostly we are using boron. Okay. So, the answer is option C boron. Now, coming to next question that is the resistivity of a uniformly doped n type silicon sample is 0 0.5 ohm centimeter. If the electron mobility, if the electron mobility is 1250 centimeter square volts per second and the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 9, 19 coulombs, the donor impurity concentration ND in a sample is. Here, they ask, he asked to find donor impurity concentration. In the question, they have given uh, resistivity and uh, electron mobility and the electron charge. By using these three parameters, here we need to find the donor impurity concentration. For finding the donor impurity concentration, we have one formula that is donor impurity concentration. Okay, I will write here. Donor impurity concentration ND equal to ND equal to 1 by electron electron charge q into resistivity rho into one more thing electron mobility mu n okay this is the formula for finding the donor impurity concentration that is nd is equal to 1 upon q into rho into mu n where q is the electron charge that is charge of electron rho is the resistivity and mu n is the mobility of the electron. These three things are already given in the question. So, simply substitute those things in this formula and we will get the answer. Do it please, please do it and let me know in the comment box. Here the correct answer is option C 2.5 into 10 to the power of 15 centimeter cube. Okay, This is the correct answer. You will do this problem uh, by using that formula what I told you and verify your answer is correct or not. Okay. Now coming to third question that is the band gap of silicon at room temperature is here they asked what is the band gap of silicon at room temperature. We know for every uh, atom there is a band gap. Okay. Based on band gap only uh, we can conclude whether the atom act as or the material act as a conductor or semiconductor or insulator. Okay. Here we need to find what is the band gap of silicon at room temperature. We know here four options are there among first option is correct one. Okay. 
for for silicon at room temperature remember this one it is a constant value okay 1.1 electron volts is the band gap for silicon at room temperature so here the correct answer is option a okay remaining things are, things are wrong answers if the question asked like this assume if the question asked like this find the band gap of germanium not a silicon suppose instead of silicon if they asked germanium okay if they asked germanium then the answer is b because for germanium the band gap is 0.7 electron volts now coming to the fourth question that is the primary reason for widespread use of silicon in semiconductor device technology is that means why we are using silicon mostly in semiconductor technology uh, for making any semiconductor device we are using the silicon chip only why not other we have so many things also uh, uh, impurities also i mean so many metals like uh, boron germanium indium but why we are preferring silicon only among all others means that is the question here the first answer is abundance of silicon on the earth and second option is large band gap compared to germanium third option is favorable properties of silicon dioxide and fourth option is low melting point sorry here melting spelling mistake low melting point here here are the four options for this question here first we need to conclude what are the wrong answers okay here option d here all are right answers only but we need to take uh, the main reason why we are using okay here uh, when come to option b large band gap compared to germanium in our previous question we already discussed about this that is for silicon the band gap is 1.1 electron volts and for germanium the band gap is 0.7 electron volts this is correct only but here we need to find the uh, the main reason why we are using the main reason is the silicon is more available on earth surface than all other the substances that's why we are mostly preferring the silicon uh, material for making semiconductors so the answer is first option that is abundance abundance of silicon on the earth that means uh, the silicon is most available on the earth surface okay this is about the this video if you like this video please like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts on gate 2024 let me know in the comment box and i will give you my mail and telegram channel in description please join in my telegram channel and ask your questions on gate 2024 i will surely answer you and if you have any doubts you want to uh, contact personally contact through mail thank you thank you for watching this video